Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I'm your hunting guide, Jeff. I'm sitting down here behind this log because it is a little windy on the river right now. Uh, the wind isn't bad when you're away from it, but down here it's horrible. So I may have to do some uh, voiceover work on this. Anyhow, I'm down here at Chain of Rocks Canal right now. Uh, last week the water was up to 10.35 foot. So this whole area that I'm searching under was underwater. It was also crazy cold, so there's a high probability that there was a lot of ice flowing through it, which is good because that means it's going to scrape up a lot of stuff. A lot of new material out here that I'm seeing. Lots of new material. Anyhow, we're going to be looking for honey agates. We're going to be looking for uh, petrified wood and uh, just other really cool rocks. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, most of the stuff I pick up today will be thrown into my rock tumbler, which I will show you what my uh, sort of a redneck engineered, if you will, rock tumbler looks like whenever I get home. So uh, anyway, come with me, enjoy the video, I hope, and uh, depending on the wind, there may be a lot of voiceover. So let's get looking. A couple nice pieces of agate right here. Eh, I say nice. There. They're kind of chipped up. Maybe they're not. That's all right. We'll see what happens in the tumbler with them. Anyhow, let's keep looking. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad for you. Ooh, here's a nice little honey agate. Yes, these are what I like right here. So we're going to be looking for them mostly today. We'll find jasper and other things out here. Like that. Into the bag it goes, and we will continue our hunt. Here's another good piece. This may be chalcedony. I don't think it's chert. Could just be a piece of quartz, but the tumbler will tell. So I was using my rubber boots, and I was walking along the water's edge there, and I decided to come up a little bit, because you know, with the rubber boots on, my feet were getting a little chilly. And I looked down, and right here, I found a really nice piece of petrified wood. It's one of the really, oh, there's another honey agate. It's one of the really nice things about this area. You will find petrified wood, but you have to remember that upstream that way, about a mile, I guess, you have the Missouri River flowing into the Mississippi, which is what this is. And then about 10 miles above that, you have the Illinois River flowing into the Mississippi. So anything coming from the east, are from the west down the Missouri or the Illinois it's going to get funneled in through here and it will make its way down through here sooner or later that area that you see over there that's all rapids that's due to the fact that the earth's crust has bulged it's made a natural dam through there that's why this is now an island this used to not be an island this used to just be a peninsula they built the canal because in the old days, the boats would come here and they would have to wait for the water to go up, as you can see there, on the metal things coming out of the, I don't know the name of them, coming out of the uh, shore. They'd have to wait until they got high enough on those that they could travel barge traffic up and down. That wasn't a good thing. You could be stuck here for days or months. little bitty piece of I believe red jasper really pretty it's been tumbled quite a bit who knows how long it's been out here decent sized big chunk of agate here sadly is uh, beat up as that is I don't know if it'll ever tumble up properly it's got a lot of cracks in it but throw it in the bag we'll find out and I just picked up what I believe is a really pretty piece of yellow jasper. Not 100% sure. Could just be a quartz nodule. It's the bad thing about out here. There's so many pretty rocks to pick up. Everything from little agates, quartz, to I could have sworn I just saw a fossilized crinoid death plate. Ah, maybe I didn't. There's a little agate. It's 
see if we can't find some petrified wood. I know I'm probably stepping over stuff that people are like, oh, Jeff, pick that up. There we go. Nice little piece of uh, brown chalcedony. And a pretty little red jasper. Nice, decent sized agate I just found in the river. This was a piece of druzy quartz that's been tumbled away. That is a really cool looking piece of uh, quartz crystal there. So I'm gonna take both these. Not sure what this is. It's definitely a neat looking rock. I'm sure once it dries it won't look as neat, but it's all right. If it tumbles up all right, it should be able to stay that pretty look to it. So into the bag you go, into the tumbler you will go once we get home. Pretty little quartz egg, like that. And then over here, no, well, I thought it was an agate at first. It's not, just a piece of quartz. There's a great big piece of quartz. And what do we got here? A little piece of jasper. Going in the bag. I love jasper. I have a have a big bucket of it. Should probably sell that sooner or later. You might be interested in jasper. Let me know. Well, here's a nice sized honey agate. Let's get this washed off a little bit. Whew. Water's cold. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. This makes my day. Let's see if we can find some more of those. That size or bigger. Here's a little bitty honey agate. And right beside it, a piece of petrified wood. Excellent. I love finding petrified wood. I don't tumble it. Try to get my UV light out tonight and maybe I'll show you all what a lot of the petrified wood does down here. So not a rock, but still pretty cool. I like to pick these up. These are, uh, my book is correct and I read it right. I believe these are periwinkle shells. I really like the look of them. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. But we're almost back to the truck. It's a little windier here, so I'm trying to block the camera as much as I can. See, I'm walking on a lot of sand. A little bit of gravel here and there right now. Oh, here's something. It's a piece of petrified wood. I almost missed that piece. They're not very big, but... Yeah, boy. <laughs> Get it, because it's a buoy. actually not rock hunted related but anyone who sees buoys out in the river you always wondered how big they were they're pretty hefty not gonna lie this one is from 2021 looks like looks like May 2021 US Coast Guard Coast Guard I found your buoy it's on the beach if you want to come get it All right, 
back to the truck. See you guys at home. All right, you guys, I've made it home. Most of these are the rocks we found today. I have a few that I've found at other times, the ones that are wet. Anyhow, we're gonna tumble these rocks up. I'm gonna show you how I do that. Uh, like I said, it's not quite as uh, fancy as most people have, but you'll see what my tumbler looks like and teach you how to make your own that way. Anyhow, this is what I'm gonna use for tumbling. This is my, uh, my tumbling bucket, just a plain old, old water container. I got it for three bucks. And, uh, actually, I think I got it for a buck fifty because it was half off day at the second hand store. St. Vincent de Paul, but I'm going to throw these rocks in here. Most of them are uh, Mohs hardness of 7.0 because they are, you know, quartz related, silica. So we're just going to put them all in there. Let me turn the camera off. Get this inside, get some grit in there, get some water in there, and then we'll get the lid on. The electrical tape's really important whenever you're using these kind of uh, a bucket because you don't want any leaks. But we'll see what I'm doing here in a second. All right, guys, as you can see, I have the water not quite covering it all the way. Now, this is just the first tumble as I go along, and I'll show in other videos. You'll see that I'll add in uh, bits, of, uh, bits of material so that way as things shrink down, it doesn't get beat up too much. But we're going to pour in our step one coarse grit. It's a 60 grit. I got two pounds of it. Got this off of Amazon for a really good price. Doesn't take too much. Right around a tablespoon or so per pound. So I'm going to get some of this in. Then I'm going to get the lid on. Okay, the lid is electrical taped on. I know it looks a little goofy up here, but that's just to hold down the flap. Next, we're going to set it down right here. This is the rock tumbler that's right i'm using an old treadmill as a rock tumbler this cost me exactly zero dollars and zero cents i got it off of facebook marketplace and i'll show you how we're going to run it come on come into focus all uh, right please excuse my dirty desk back there i do a lot of model building and whatnot but here we go we're going to hit start i'm going to program this nope i'm sorry mode and we are going to do a distance. And I'm gonna set it at a distance of 99 miles. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I can't really see it where I'm at here. We're gonna hit start. Starts at one mile an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to three miles an hour. So 33 hours. That will tumble like that. At the end of that time, I'll set it up to do another 33 hours, and then another 33 hours, and I will run this for right over a week, week and a half at that. And then the next video, well, not the next video, but one of the next videos, you'll see me change out the grip, and I'll show you how the rocks are looking. Well, guys, that's the video for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it. We hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe from you. And yes, I love you too, buddy. And we will see you the next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one.